So I'm excited today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up Sean right now. We're gonna go pick up the 14, and we are gonna move into a new facility of where we're gonna start uh, putting the old girl back together. Um, staying safe, of course. Mom got me this schmog. I never thought that I would uh, be wearing a smog in public or a smog ever. So, uh, you know, 2020, baby. So I got Shawnee boy with me. And we're getting everything uh, everything loaded up to take over. There she is. There she is. Unfortunately, we have bad news, though. Don't oh, we? No, don't look at me. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's your fucking foot-having, your fun-having foot-ass type shit. Don't listen to him. It's not my fault. We found... Where was that crack at? So I think it's under, like right around that one. Right in the middle. Right next to this, uh... It's right next to the stud. This. Right next to the on one of these, uh... On one of the head studs... To the block... It's right here. It's right here. It's right yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. So you can see... You can see this crack right here to the water jacket, to the head stud. It's kind of a common issue with RBs. We've never had this issue, but this whole, uh, this block has just been bad luck, dude. That's all I can, that's all I can really put my finger on it. It's seen its fair share of fun. So I have another block. The issue that I'm worried about is just getting it machined. Uh, just with everything going on, everybody's backed up. Um, but I mean, I have this 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 head that uh, Arlington just is finishing up this week. So I was being hopeful and hoping that uh, I'd just be able to slap it together and we'd be good to go. But it looks like we have some more work cut out for us. I have another block in my house. So I just need to strip that down. I just need to talk to Aaron to see if maybe he could uh, machine the block for us as well. And then because the pistons and rods and bearings, everything else is good. Um, even if I had to get new bearings, I mean, that would be fine. I mean, this engine has maybe four or five events on it. So, I mean, it, it's the lower end, all the internal pieces are still fresh. Just that, uh, that issue right there is just really unfortunate. But anyway, I'm gonna stay positive. I'm not gonna let it get me down. Um, we're just gonna get everything loaded up, head over to Danny and uh, get organized. Start getting to work. I want to shred, baby, no matter what. We're going to go shredding. You stinky, uh, stinky fool. Thank you. This fool. This fool. This fool. So here we are. New home for a while. When we put this girl back together. Whew. Still looking good. Still looking good. Well, yeah, this is the new facility. So this is DC Sports. Um, it's a subsidiary underneath Pilot Automotive. Um, so this will be where we're working. Got a nice lift. All the tooling we need. Got my toolbox. DC Sports mainly specializes in headers, exhausts, intakes. Um, but yeah, so got a little fab area. A little drill press, a little tube bender right there, a bandsaw, another bandsaw, another press brake, shear. So I guess they're gonna get a uh, they're gonna get a dyno put over here, which would be pretty cool, so they can dyno test all of their new products. So I'm super stoked. We got a legit place to work now. And we have that huge lot in the back. We'll do some burnies. You know, you know how we do it, baby. Oh, 
So yeah, hyped to be back. Hyped to be back. A lot of memories here. A lot of good memories here. A lot of good memories here. Man, she just looks so good. She just looks so good. I love this thing. Stay lit. These Clutch Master 850s are really good. Um, I usually get an entire season out of out of use of this. And you can see the plates are still super thick. Wear is good. Oh, it looks like I got actually you can see right here. I actually got it a little hot. So this disc will need to be replaced. Um, it's being a little too aggressive, baby. The starter is also jacked. Gotta fix this too. I try to keep everything together as I take it apart, put all the bolts back where they need to go so I don't lose anything. So usually with these Clutch Master units, they supply you, they supply you with an um, aluminum flywheel with a steel insert. Um, I was having some issues where the starter ring was separating from the aluminum, so it'll be an aluminum It'll be an aluminum center with a steel starter ring, and you'll see it has these uh, it has these bolts that basically hold it together. But I was having an issue where the starter ring would basically um, the bolts would start backing out, and so the starter ring would get loose, and uh, that has an inherently dangerous issue where it would like, like shoot through your car, which you don't want to have that cut your leg off or something. So they made me a, a custom steel flywheel and uh, they have welded, they have welded the starter ring to the flywheel. So usually if this were to happen, the disc would get too hot and you can see it's got, uh, it's got clutch material right here. They'll just surface this down, but uh, usually they just have the, um, the, replacement, um, the replacement center. So you just pop that off, pop that in with your new disc and you're ready to go. But uh, for this application, we were getting a little too gnarly. It just feels good to be back here and being able to be with my toolbox and do what I love to do. It's, uh, it's a trip. It's a trip. Everything that's going on really makes you uh, appreciate the small things you take for granted. Even as simple as working. That's what I hope everything uh, comes from this, that people will be more appreciative. I obviously have, uh, from transporting, my box usually gets pretty destroyed, but over the past couple years, I've made some investments into, into getting better tools and trying to stay more organized, even though this right now doesn't look like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for today. Um, first things first, I'm gonna organize the box, get all the tools together and then uh, get this thing on the stand and then get it ready for disassembly. Um, with that being said, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Um, we'll actually have uh, some formidable content to provide for you guys uh, in the whole process of getting, uh, getting the old girl back up to speed. Um, the first event tentatively right now is Chicago, uh, which is in June. Um, it's another Grid Life event. I believe there's going to be uh, no spectators, anything like that, but um, the, uh, the track that they have out there is, uh, is at a country club. So it's a private track, uh, really, really cool, really fast. So we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this old girl ready for that. But uh, with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to It's Lit. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for always supporting. For those that haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel in the, in the uh, subscribe button below, and we'll catch you next time. Later, guys.